Right, let's have a quick chat about debubbering a gun. So, uh, in a previous video, probably about a year ago now, I painted one of my rifles. Uh, this rifle's going in to get some work done on it. I want to take the paint off. So I thought I'd do a quick video on how to strip the paint off your rifle if you've done a bubber job on it, or maybe you've bought one that's got paint on it already. So let's flick to the B-roll over the top while I talk. So all you're going to need is brake cleaner, um, if you're worried about brake cleaner getting in your bore, although it's not such a big deal because you're going to clean it afterwards anyway, if you don't want to get in your bore, a good method to use is just the yellow squidgy ear plugs. Stick one of them in the muzzle, stick one of them up the chamber, and then you won't get brake cleaner inside your bore. Now, I would advise to not use anything like a brass brush. If you are going to use a brush, definitely use nylon because you'll run the risk of if you scrub too hard, you will take off the bluing underneath. You can see though that as I spray and it soaks, I'll spray it, let it soak, spray it again, and the pressure of the aerosol will actually push the paint straight off the rifle. So uh, only scrub if you need to. If you don't need to, it'll come off and you'll get a better, um, better removal of that paint. For intricate parts, you may need to take off your trigger assembly, um, like I've done here, because there was some paint up in the joints. I wanted to really clean it out properly. Uh, point to note, if you are using brake cleaner, take off all of your uh, polymer parts. Don't do your stock, um, because brake cleaner and plastics really don't mix, and rubbers. So if you get any sort of O-rings, any sort of polymer part, like a polymer safety catch, like that's on like a Savage or a Ruger, uh, anything like that, definitely strip those parts off before you brake clean because you will ruin it. Now you can see at the end of my muzzle, um, that is Cerakoted and brake cleaner does not strip the Cerakoting off. So if you're worried about that, you need not be because brake cleaner doesn't strip Cerakote. Brake cleaner is water dispersing and self-drying. Um, so you don't really need to rub it down. Just let it dry. As soon as it's dry, I wouldn't leave it for too long, but as soon as it's dry, um, I'm gonna give a good coating of WD-40, let it soak, have a bottle of coke, that rhymes, lyrical genius. Uh, let that soak into the metal and then give it a quick wipe down and then just clean the gun as you normally would. Take the plugs out of the chamber and the muzzle, pull it through, clean your chamber, clean your bore, clean any raceways, anything like that. Put the gun back together and ta-da, you have unbubbered a rifle. So I hope you got something out of that. If you have sprayed your rifle and you want to despray your rifle, use this method. If you've bought a rifle that's been painted, use this method. You won't wreck your bluing unless the bluing was garbage in the first place. So uh, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell, because if you don't hit the bloody bell, you won't get the bloody notifications. Then every message will be going, oh, you didn't put a bloody video up. But I did. Every Sunday, 5 o'clock, they all go up. So subscribe. And uh, if you want to support, hit Patreon link in the description. I think that's all I've got now. Yeah, so, see you next video. Hooroo.